We need to begin with understanding shapes, the basics. But don't worry, soon enough your shapes will be flying around the screen and changing colors and all kinds of other cool programming things. Just stay with us. So let's start with drawing rectangles. We type rect for rectangle, then open parentheses, and then four numbers. And I'll explain what these mean in a moment, and then a close parentheses, and at the end, we'll just put a semicolon. And look, amazing, a rectangle. And that was so neat, so let's do that again. We can try different numbers this time. Maybe, you know, bigger numbers. And then smaller numbers at the end. And oh, hey, look, another rectangle. In fact, if we try changing this first number to make it smaller, it'll start moving. If we change this last number, make it bigger and then smaller, then it's just going to grow and then shrink. Interesting. So, how is all this magic happening, you might wonder? Well, remember that your computer is just like a really intelligent and obedient dog. And with a dog, maybe we could tell it to sit, stay, even roll over. You would just have to give the command. So in code, how would you tell your computer dog to sit? Well, the way you, do, you would do that is you, you would write the command name, say sit, and then you put two parentheses afterwards to tell it to go do that command you just said, and then you put a semicolon at the end just to say, hey, yeah, this command is over. And then your computer dog would sit down. Well, of course, your computer on Khan Academy isn't a dog, so it doesn't know how to sit or roll over, but it does know how to draw rectangles when you tell it rect, and like, that's kind of neat too, right? Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do on this line. We'll say the command rect, which is just the name, and then we'll put the open parentheses and the close parentheses to get, say, go do that, and then we'll put the semicolon at the end. And that's how your computer knows to go do the special ability rect. Okay, so now let's go back to our rect. We have the command name right here, and we have those parentheses, what are about all these crazy numbers? Well, the idea is that the computer really doesn't know enough if you just tell it rect. So, to see this, imagine if I just gave you a piece of paper, and I said I wanted you to draw a rectangle exactly the way I wanted it to be. Well, unless you can read my mind, you're going to have some questions right away. First, you might wonder, well, okay, where do you want me to draw the rectangle? And then, what I would say is, how about we just agree that this left side of the, the, the paper that I just gave you, let's just call that zero. Let's just agree that this right side is gonna be 400. Then I could give you a number, say like 100, and you would know that that's gonna be right about like there maybe, roughly. Except that would satisfy you for a moment, but then you'd be like, okay, well that tells me how far across, but how about how far up and down? So then I could give you another number, let's say maybe like 200, and I would say, okay, well this is the top, this is zero, and again, we'll just say that the bottom, that's gonna be 400. And you would think, okay, well, 200, that's going to be right in the middle here. And that's perfect, because now you think and you say, okay, great. I'm going to draw your rectangle right here, because it's 100 across and it's 200 down. Except that's still not enough, because now what are you asking? Right, you're wondering, how big do you want the rectangle? And I would say, well, how about like, I don't know, like 150 wide? And you think, okay, well, this is 100 and this is 400. So if we want it to be 150 wide, maybe we're going to go to, like, here? And you think, like, okay, cool, 150 wide, about. And then you'd say, okay, well, how tall do you want it? And I'd say, oh, not very tall. How about, like, 50 tall? You'd be like, okay, well, 50, maybe that's going to be about, like, that tall? And then you would go ahead and be like, awesome, I know exactly where you want your rectangle, exactly what it should look like. I'll just go ahead and draw it. And that's a lot of work for a rectangle, isn't it? But the idea is just by giving you those four numbers, remember we said 100 across, 200 down, um, 150 wide, and then just 50 tall. We now are exactly on the same page about what this rectangle should look like. And that's actually how the computer works too. You can just write the command name like we said earlier, write the open parentheses, and then add in these four numbers, 100, 200, 150, and then 50, a close parentheses, and then a semicolon and it'll draw a rectangle exactly where we wanted it to be. Well, I guess if we're honest with ourselves, that's not really where we wanted the rectangle. I mean, it's not where we drew it, right? So our numbers are a little bit off. So let's go ahead and say, okay, we want it to really match exactly what we drew. So we'll move this so it's a little bit further over, a little bit less up and down, and then a little bit skinnier, and then maybe like a tiny bit less tall. And now we have it that our rectangle pretty much exactly matches what we drew because we understood what each of these numbers meant, we could just change it so it looked like we want to. All right, so now let's think about drawing another rectangle because the beauty of this is we can draw rectangles wherever we want now. So 
How about we want to draw it all the way in this upper corner, all the way up there? So let's think of where that would be. Well, I guess that would be like zero across, zero up and down. And then maybe, I don't know, pretty small, let's say just like 50 t wide and maybe just like, I don't know, like 10 tall, like a pretty small rectangle, right? So we can just go ahead and do that. We'll type rect, and then separating these parameters with commas, we'll just go ahead and be like, all right, cool. Well, not so cool because we have this error message saying, oh no, it looks like you're missing, you know, closing parentheses. And we're like, oh yeah, we are. So if you'll put it back in, it's great, right? Well, not so great because now we have another message saying we have a missing semicolon. This one is also correct. We could just press show me where and we would point to the line we just wrote. And we just remember, you know, oh yeah, semicolons are like periods at the end of the sentences to end our lines. And we forgot one. But we can just put it back, no big deal. And everything is good again. And check it out, a tiny little rectangle exactly like we wanted. And just like before, we can grow it so that it's bigger. And we can move it around and we can just position it exactly where we want it to be. So now you know in detail exactly how this rect thing works. We covered what these numbers mean and how you always need to put the command name, the parentheses, have the commas separate the numbers, and put the semicolon at the end. It seems like a lot, but you can go ahead and try it for yourself and get a feel for it. Next time, we'll learn about making more shapes, and then we'll move on to awesome things like making them colorful and having them fly around the screen.